Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at programming a repeater frequency into a memory channel on this Yaesu FTM 3200 2 meter transceiver. So starting off the radio is in memory mode. You can see that if I turn the dial we go through some pre-programmed memory channels that I already have in the radio. So what I want to do is get into VFO mode, so I'm going to press the VM key twice, pressing it once puts it into the home channel mode, and then the second time puts it into VFO mode. Now that I'm in VFO mode, I can tune in the frequency that I want a couple of different ways. The first way is to just use the tuning dial to tune up or down to the desired frequency. Another way I can enter the frequency is by typing it in on the keypad that's on the microphone. So I'm going to do it that way. And as you can see, I've got the frequency entered in, 146.910. Now this radio is set by default to automatically set the correct repeater offset, positive or negative, depending on where it is in the band. And you can see the radio has done this correctly for me already, and put in the negative offset for a repeater in the 146 megahertz range. In order to enter setup mode, I'm going to push and hold the MHZ setup key for over a second. Once I'm in setup mode, you can see that there is a menu option and an index number here. I'm going to use the tuning dial to scroll up to item number 42, which will allow me to set the PL tone transmit frequency. Now that I'm at the tone frequency item, I can push the setup key once briefly to enter in that register. Now that I'm in the tone frequency register, I can use the tuning dial to scroll up and choose the frequency that I need for this repeater. Now that I've got the frequency selected that I want, I'm going to push the setup key once again briefly to back out of that register and go back into the setup menu. Now what I'm going to do is dial down a couple of steps and find squelch type, item number 39. And what this menu option will do is actually turn on the tone generator so that when I key the radio it will transmit that tone that I just selected. So I'll push the setup key again briefly. So I'll use the tuning dial to change the setting from off to tone. You can see there's a few other settings in this register. And you can see a little T shows up in the menu here to let you know you've selected it. Now that I've got the tone frequency selected that I want and I've turned on the tone generator, I'm going to push and hold the setup key to exit the setup menu. The next thing that I'm going to do is set the transmit power level that I want to use with this repeater. In order to do that, I'm going to press and hold the SQL TXPO button for over a second. So once in here, I can use the tuning dial to choose from three levels, high, medium, or low. I'm going to select medium for this repeater, and then I'm going to push this once briefly to get back into VFO mode. So now I'm ready to write this to memory. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is press and hold the VMMW key to get into memory write mode. Once I'm in there, I'm going to use the tuning dial to tune up and find a memory frequency that I want to write this into. In my case, I want to put this in memory number 53. Once I'm in there, I'm going to press and hold the VM key again, and it writes it to memory. In order to check that, I'm going to push the VM key to go back into memory mode, and we can see that menu number 53 now has this repeater programmed in. One last thing that you may want to do when programming in a repeater frequency is instead of having the frequency display, you may want to give this a name. In order to do that, you want to make sure that you're in memory mode and on the memory channel that you want to give a name to, and then press and hold the setup key. Once in setup mode, we're going to scroll down and find item number 24, which is memory name. I'm going to push the setup key briefly to enter that register, and then you can see we have a blank screen and a blinking cursor. So what I'll do now is turn the tuning dial to find the letter that I want. Once I have the letter that I want, I'm going to press the VM key to accept that letter and move to the next character. And I'll just repeat the process now for the rest of the name. Once I have the name set the way that I want, I'm going to press and hold the setup key to exit the setup mode. And you can see we're back in memory mode, and now we have the name displayed instead of the frequency. Now anytime you're in memory mode, if you want to see what the frequency is instead of the name, you just push the setup key once and it reverts back to the frequency. And then push it again to get the name back. 
that's pretty much going to wrap things up for programming a repeater frequency into this Yaesu FTM3200D. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for watching!